Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a really long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. Yes, a lot has been happening. There were gigs that I was playing. <laughs> I started a new gig also. Oh my gosh, how could I forget? I started a new gig called Speaker Box at K1 that I'm really excited about, um, which you guys should check out. But this is not the video where I'm talking about that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So I thought I'd do a video where I explain how I was shooting content on my phone before I got the gear that I'm using now. But because so many people are like, I want to start vlogging, but it's too expensive. I want to start shooting nice pictures on my instagram but i don't have a good camera and for me i'm just like yo you don't need the very best of equipment to start you can start where you are and it doesn't mean that you're going to have to just make bad content first no there's actually tools and and devices that can help you uh just create amazing content which people will be like my vlogs for, from South Africa last year, when we went zip lining, my vlogs from Cannes this year, they were all shot on my phone. So <laughs> I've been using the Huawei Y9, which is this one, and I'm going to I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I've shot on it. It's uh, my second time using an Android phone. I don't usually use the Android platform. It's a good phone. It's a good phone. Uh, even me, I was pleasantly surprised. I was just like, damn. Okay, Huawei. I'll just get straight to it. How to shoot content using your phone, okay? The first most important thing when it comes to shooting content on your phone or on any device for that matter is to just plan that content first. I'm still not that good. I usually just say, oh, see, I'm going to go here. I'll carry my phone. I'll have my phone to vlog with. And then I just go randomly shooting five million clips and then I come back home and I'm overwhelmed. I've realized it's very good to just sit down, especially for a video like this, sit down, write notes. I, I sat down and I have my notes here. Plan out your content, plan out the location, your ideas, what time of day you're going to shoot. You know, I end up shooting a lot of these kinds of videos in the middle of the night in my house because I also work and do other stuff during the day. So usually it's the only time I have. Then you need to prep your device. In this case, our phone. So by prepping your device, I mean, make sure to wipe the lens, which is something a lot of people forget to do. And so that it's not smudged, it's the clearest that you can get it to be. Um, I bump into people and get on to take pictures or selfies and then they do this and it's just so blurry. And I'm like, let hi o si musai, to ngarishe. Nakiwi. So I'm always just like this, like rubbing, rubbing, but making sure that the lens is as clear as possible so that when you open, there are no smudges. Can you see me clearly? Look at that. Woo! Checky, 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 checky on my shoulders. Come on. Guys. All right. You see Yame Mame, she's here to give us tips as well. Also, I think it's so important to ask her because she just started and she shoots and edits on her phone. Mm -hmm. So what are your tips? So my tips for shooting and editing on the phone is use your back camera as opposed to your front camera, if that makes sense, because the back camera tends to have more pixels. So if you can, use the back camera. The problem with that though is that you can't see yourself as you're shooting. But if you can get someone, like for me, I use my husband sometimes. I tell him, just make sure I'm in the shot. Yeah, me daddy. Sure in, yeah, me daddy. Exactly. Yeah, me daddy. Shut up, babe. Hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just make sure that he makes sure that I'm in the shot so that I, I don't end up like I've shot a whole 20 minute video and then it's out of it's focus. Like your hair. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and then the other thing with shooting on your phone because my phone didn't have that much memory is that i'm very specific about the shots that i want to get so like for example if i go to a restaurant i know that i need to get a shot let's say of the food and of us having a good time mm -hmm. but now we'll take an hour of footage because eventually it's not going to be an hour long video i have a tip for that that's <laughs> what i wanted to say yeah. don't take big clips <laughs> take small, take small clips, clips. Kubua, 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 kama mimi. Mm. Not good mm -mm. to dog off. Take a small In fact, they're even smaller ones. Mm. Yes, exactly. Good point. Then the other thing I would say about shooting with your shooting and editing with your phone is spend a lot of time on YouTube learning these things because people have already learned and there are so many tutorials. Mm. My gosh, so many. The internet is your friend. YouTube and Google just spend time on there. By the way, before I even started my channel, I think I spent like three full days just on youtube just saying how do i edit very simple things how do i cut a video how do i add text to a video how do i add a filter to a video like the most basic things just learn them on there and then do 
in your research find out from people who you know who have been making videos before like now patricia who helped me with a few tips get information from people around you people who actually make videos so they can tell you so that you don't have to go through the whole learning curve they'll already help you avoid that learning curve yes thank you so much applications leave your applications down below you know what? i watched your tips for single mom mm. but i took so much away from it even though i'm not a mom yeah i was just like cons the last one about don't don't be afraid to love, don't love just again. love <laughs> oh my God. thanks Bye. okay so make sure that um if you're on video i usually like to check the file size to check the resolution this phone goes up to 60 frames per second video is many images shot in succession to create a moving picture okay each image is a frame so if it says 24 frames per second it means it's 24 images taken in one second yeah so 60 frames per second means it's 60 pictures right taken in one second now the more frames you have per second the more smooth the quality of the picture and that's why i like to put it on the highest because sometimes i want to slow down the footage when i'm editing so that it's slow motion so when it's higher frames per second it means even your slow-mo uh, video will be smoother but so it really just depends on what you prefer i just prefer to shoot at the highest um just so that if I want to slow down, if I want some of the things to be in slow motion, um, then I can slow them down in post. You can also format whether you want it for the files to be smaller but for higher efficiency or to be compatible with um, whatever device you use to edit. Um, you can also get FHD, which is I think full high definition. This one is full high definition, 1080p, 1920 times 1080 resolution at 60 frames per second. That's the highest it goes and I think is pretty solid <laughs> for a phone camera. Some of them go up till 4K, wow, but I don't think I've ever needed to shoot in 4K, but you know, if you want to, you can as well. Do you, Sheila? <laughs> Patricia. <laughs> okay, when you want to vlog using your phone, Okay, the good thing with the Huawei, it comes with, um, you know that place, place where you, you're supposed to put your, your SIM card? You can be able to add a memory card because mm, memory is very important. Once you're vlogging, all the time you keep running out of memory and you don't want that to happen. Like myself, I keep on deleting things from my phone. I'm like, ah, I have to delete this post. I have to delete this from my, from my Instagram saved videos. I have to delete everything because I don't have enough memory. So make sure you have enough memory. Buy the extra uh, memory card like a 32 GB or any type of um, amount of storage that you want and then you can be able to vlog using your phone. Make sure to always shoot your video in landscape mode like this, not like this. This is optimized for like Insta stories but that's the only time you should shoot when your phone is in portrait. I know a lot of people shoot like this because the phone is made to hold like this but when you're shooting video, shoot in landscape because if you shoot like this um, when you upload you'll just have those dark bars on the side the black bars on the side the picture won't fill the screen so make sure to shoot in landscape so that it's completely like fills the screen so on youtube it'll fill the yes. screen um, expert hapa amekuja kuniambia ma tips jumimi pia kwa hivyo sema hata tutapiga story hata sitaki kujua yako tip tips just the tip um put your put your phone on flight mode i know you're gonna talk for let's say two minutes just put it on flight mode for those two minutes because when you're vlogging on your phone sometimes someone calls you you're in your thought process you've got the story you know when you done you show hey guys welcome to my channel i'm like and you have to start again it's quite annoying and then when someone also let's say if you put it on vibrate we'll feel it mm. on we'll hear, mm. we'll hear it once you go to edit so just put it on flight mode do your talking thing film what you're filming and then you know go back to the normal thing amenena we are grateful asante sana professor karibu sana uko kwangu thank you uh, yeah. beautiful home thanks. as in it's so pretty and so organized yes mm -hmm. <laughs> thanks <laughs> make sure that wherever you're going to shoot is your camera is still and steady now most times i would recommend just getting a tripod or a mount because our hands are not as steady as we imagine them to be 
the steadiest is just to put it even if it's like on a windowsill or on top of a stack of books i used to do that um, before as well just make sure you place it somewhere so that it doesn't move stay hydrated before you buy a mount sometimes i use this these are called butterfly clips i think work layer like this and then I place it on a surface and then that becomes like a mini tripod kind of mount. Another hack that I can give you, you can use duct tape. Duct tape, duct tape. If you say it quickly, it's duct tape, but it's really duct tape, I'd put it here. This is a trick I used to use whenever I was doing my makeup and I was shooting, I would put duct tape on whatever surface, whether it was the mirror or the window and stick the phone to it and then shoot. That's a really good idea and it's something you can use you can even stick it like on the door or even stuff in your fridge if you want to do those shots for opening your fridge and um <laughs> looking to see in your fridge kumbe you've stuck your phone onto something in the fridge on a door so you can use duct tape to stick your phone anywhere also you know those car mounts that guys are selling on uhuru highway or whatever if you're stuck in traffic and you see guys selling car mounts those are also really nifty um to use so you, you i use that for any glass surface so whether it's a window or a mirror i use that and put the phone on it so that now i'm hands-free i'm shooting it and you can choose whatever angle you want so that you know you get the most optimized angle <laughs> for yourself when you're shooting also you can have a phone mount like this one so this one is i like it because you just put it on and then this screws onto a tripod if you get one but if you don't have a tripod this can also just stand on a surface on its own and you can shoot with it and it can also shoot like this like i said so for insta stories if you want to I bought this off of Amazon, but I saw this company called CDI Gadgets that's on Instagram. I'll put their account. I've never worked with them before. I've never bought anything from them, but I've seen that they have a lot of camera gear for people who want to shoot on their phones. So you can just check them out. You can also get a tripod like this. Now, I'm sure you've seen a lot of vloggers with a small mini tripod like this. This is a Manfrotto and it's standard for <laughs> a lot of vloggers. If you're vlogging on your phone, basically this mount can mount over here. And then basically what it gives you is more range of motion. So you'll have your phone even further away, which is a good thing. I really like this nifty like fingerprint thing. And then yeah, you just do this thing. Uh, hi. Hi guys, but I've seen CDI gadgets have something similar to this and they're also quite cheap I got this one from Amazon the there's the original one which is black and just steady like this Which is I think about 3k $30 this one um, now it has the adjustable legs which become a bit longer and There's a thing a magic over here that allows you to make it either flat and then this you unscrew it so that you can also have range of motion from this ball thing over here yeah this one was $40 this one was 4k but it's it's a good investment and Manfrotto is an Italian company they're really good but CDI gadgets also have them and I think they're pretty cool so if you need to get one you can get from there guys you can also use a selfie stick to mount your phone onto and use that to shoot video just for me as a rule just make sure your selfie stick is not in the frame you can put your phone on the selfie stick and then start like have it against um a surface or you can leave it like lean it against the wall so that now you can stand an, a little bit further and shoot i used to really the raw selfie sticks way back when because when it became that everybody had a selfie stick all the pictures were looking the same i can say hi guys welcome to my channel now my name is patricia kihora and i'm so happy to be here and to share this with you you can set it up against a wall so you don't have to be holding it or you can hold it and then just hope you're steady enough so that your footage is smooth and then you can get a like a full-on tripod like what this camera is on um what the camera is standing on well this this attachment here which i also got from amazon for about 30 dollars 3k which i really love because basically it allows for this to happen and it's strong and metal and i use that with my 
bigger camera and SLR but this one ooh, am I showing you how messy this is <laughs> I got this tripod actually from here in Nairobi it's a Vanguard I googled it before I bought it and the price difference was so little so it for me didn't make sense to ship it in but you can also go to Masoko but you can also go to masoko.com i've seen quite a few tripods on there if you need to get a tripod you can get one from there <laughs> so th there are some things that are actually locally available the other day i was at dinner with um farhana farhana oberson and she just basically put her her camera on top of a wine glass and used that as her mount so you can also be creative you don't really need all this gear to start shooting there's very many ways you just have to be super creative about it you can also get yourself a gimbal a gimbal is like a steady cam so basically what this does you'll put your phone in this and then you'll be able to get really smooth footage but once i get the hang of it you're able to shoot such smooth basically it's not supposed to shake at all it just keeps things smooth uh, next thing i would say is uh, lighting so when it comes to lighting i would say the first thing is natural light find a window go outside and let that natural light um, illuminate you and just enhance your glow and show everybody just how beautiful beautiful you are you also have to be very particular about the times of day that you choose to shoot so early morning hours or late evening that's a time called golden hour those are times when the Sun is lower in the horizon and then the rays are also not a harsh bright yellow like there's a very white yellow that happens during the day like at noon and then the Sun because it's directly over the Sun is directly over <laughs> their shadows cast on your face it's not flattering at all but if you shoot in the morning hours um, with those soft rays of light, the golden tones, or in the evening, you know how sunset looks so beautiful, they're golden, almost orange, that light is so beautiful, and that's a really good time to shoot. It's called golden hour, so whether you want to shoot pictures or video, that's a good time to choose to shoot. Um... Oh, oh, hey guys. <laughs> That's exactly my tip. You always have to find the light. Whether you're shooting yourself or you're shooting photos of other things, lighting is super important when it comes to mobile um, photography. And reason being is, despite the Y9 being pretty amazing and is able to recognize different scenes and optimizing the different lighting situations for each type of scene like food um, like landscape like group photo those things it's also important to to try and control it like yourself so then that means the photos and also the videos that you capture will be the highest quality possible and when it comes to good lighting you gotta move with it like don't be afraid to move with it yeah and when it comes to taking photos be very very conscious about where the Sun is sometimes you might actually cast a shadow on your subject so when you do that maybe it's very subtle but it's just enough to prevent the camera from doing its best and then that means the details of your photos will get blurred so lighting 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 after natural light obviously you can use artificial light i like warm yellow light when i was in university i actually used to create my own like little lighting setup so i'd go by the cable the wiring the two sockets and the bulbs and then i put them together and then create some lighting for myself so that I could take nice pictures on my little Kanokia. <laughs> um, but also, you know, you can use a desk lamp, a lamp. In fact, my first, one of my first YouTube videos where I was singing a song, I just basically used my bike like lamp that stands in the corner over there. I'm gonna shoot it right now. So basically what I did in that video, I removed the lampshade, brought the lamp closer, closed the windows, I mean the curtain behind me so that the light behind me wouldn't be bright and shot the video. So that's another thing. Even when you're shooting in natural light, make sure you're facing the light. The light needs to be in your face, not behind you. Um, that's why 
when you take pictures make sure to face the sun face the light so that you don't it doesn't look too dark that's because the when a light is behind you it creates a silhouette effect so face the light for instance at night when i'm out with my friends and we need to take pictures i just ask I used to I call this the Patricia method. Obviously, it's not. I'm not the only person who thought of it in the world, but um, basically, just ask your friends to turn on their torches and illuminate you, and then take pictures. So you can use a desk lamp, you can use fairy lights, and just put them around you. But basically, just have the light in front of you so that you are illuminated. And then, with time, you can then invest in lights. In fact, one of the first lights I got. I bought this maybe two years ago these are this is the second set of batteries i'm using with it and um newer this company they do really really nice affordable gear for like youtubers who are upcoming so you that's where i got the ring light from as well this as well which just put on top of the camera um this must have been like maybe 3k as well another thing i would tell you when you're shooting content on your phone is to explore the features that your phone has because you might find that there's really really cool features that you didn't know or hadn't discovered so for instance this phone for video has a time lapse feature which is so cool so time lapse is the one where it speeds up um, the video so that if you look at clips of like the clouds moving really fast and changing or traffic moving really fast, that's usually a time lapse feature and it's so cool. I really love using it because it's great for B-roll. Um, which is now filler like you know when you when you, you watch a movie or a TV show and then in between scenes you'll see now they're you know giving you time to just absorb the scene. Wow. Did that really happen then now you just see a skyline then they play some music that's b-roll it also has um when it comes to photography light painting which i'm so excited to use so you can do traffic trails so those pictures where you can see like traffic but then also the lights look like lines that's a feature that this phone has light graffiti which means you know those pictures where you see somebody is standing and then they've written their name with a light you need to to know how to set up your camera to do something like that but this has it inbuilt which is such a cool thing it can also do star trails silky water and basically all you need to do those kinds of pictures is to, is to make sure that your phone is still the first pictures that i posted from this phone were pictures that i took on the portrait mode and i was just like wow even with the face mask i still look cute the portrait mode is on point and also the night the night mode is also really cool because i was able to take a picture from the move and pick hotel they have this revolving restaurant and i've never been able to take a picture like that with any other phone that i've owned so that was really cool to see so use external apps um, that can optimize the content that you create on your phone so for instance this phone's camera is really cool the video is really great but some of the things that I found challenging was the fact that like when you're shooting video you don't have control of the exposure and things like that so I found this app called open camera which gives me more control of the camera so with open camera I'm able to adjust the exposure and lock it so that means that it's not automatic i can do that manually so that the phone doesn't compensate on my behalf i can do what i can choose what exposure i want to shoot in um, also it has features such as speed so the time lapse feature that comes inbuilt it's a standard time lapse speed but with open camera i can change the speed of the time lapse I can also decide if I want a grid. I can also choose the white balance. I have more white balance options. So white balance is when it it will ask you, you know, are you shooting in daylight? Are you shooting under fl fluorescent lighting? You can have theater, night portrait, beach, snow, fireworks, candlelight, and it even has color effects as well. So that's an app that you can use for um, controlling. Aki for real, surely. Are you fighting with your door, dear neighbor? and then now we've come to shooting so <laughs> shooting content should be fun so when you're shooting it's important to try and get interesting shots that people haven't seen like from angles that people don't see on a regular one thing i've learned also from doing my research from people whose content i really like they say to shoot from angles that are unnatural angles that are interesting that are not necessarily 
human eye level um, so that they're interesting to look at. Try and make it as interesting as possible. When I'm on a Boda Boda, because you know I love Boda Bodas, I will hold my phone. So, you know, I'm on the Boda like this, but I'll hold my phone down to where my ankle is to record that level of passing cars <laughs> and seeing their wheels. So I try to find as interesting um, angles as possible and also to be doing interesting things like being on a Boda Boda or I guess that's the most interesting thing um there was a time when i happened to be in a cockpit of a plane i'm not saying go look for a cockpit of a plane but just find interesting things to shoot sometimes i like being in traffic and then just shooting like cars passing by and then birds flying high you know how i feel sun in the sky you know how i feel so even in the morning like when i wake up just like shots of the sun in between the drapes um, when it's raining just the drops hitting the ground um, you know just the trees swaying those are such interesting shots to capture shadows on the ground are also interesting and those are nice so even in your storytelling people can feel things those are things that make people feel feel interesting thing guys i'm at jay's i just bumped into mutu amazeka and you know he's like the og of huawei products like he was one of the first people to work with huawei way back and in fact if it wasn't for him i would have just been like hey huawei but then if mutu can endorse huawei i was just like it must be dope to go to a club <laughs> remember what i was saying about illuminating Tumeasha torch hapo Aha. Uh -huh. the, light. the melanin got to be lit. Yes. So, for me with, with vlogging, I think the most important thing is the story. Aha. Uh -huh. And just, that this is just because most people, you'll watch a vlog and you just touch it randomly and end it. End it. End it. And end it randomly. That's me, by the way. <laughs> I'm also learning. Like I'm taking yeah. tips from this. Yeah. I was I was not here to throw shots, but it's true. It's fine. But yeah, you know, like if you plan your shoot, like every episode, yeah. don't allow your vlog to be random. Uh -huh. Like it's just like there's a difference between a vlog being a collection of things you did or being a story that you want to tell. Right. Because a story has a beginning. A middle, right? Or we call it like a, a middle or climax mm -hmm. and an end, right? So if you can do that, then people get engaged by the story. For me, those are the things that I find myself enjoying more. So if, plan your story. Yeah. So plan your story. I mean, not not too complicated. A story by me calling it a story doesn't mean it has to be very complex. Yeah. Like, if you're vlogging, if you're doing a weekly vlog, yeah, then it will be. Hi guys, it's Monday or like the beginning. Yes, it will be the beginning. Yeah. Of, you know, whether it's Monday and have a way to start. Like There's also different ways to shoot to keep your shot steady and smooth. So let's say you're using your hands. You can do a pan. Panning is like this, right? And then you can pan down and up. Then you can slide. Ah. So that one is actual movement. Whatever it is, you use your body for stability and then you just slide. Slide pan. Pana. Baby pana. Woo! Slide. 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 Also, interesting things to do with your phone as well is transitions. Now, a transition is when you go from one shot to the other in an interesting way. Some transitions are just clean. It's a clean cut from this to that. Yeah. Then others, they'll their slide transitions or their paint transitions. Some of the things that you've seen people doing is like, for instance, a transition where um, somebody is talking, talking, and then they cover their the camera with their hand. Yeah. And then when they start the next shot, you see the hand moving away and they're in a different place. Some people just finish talking, they cover, and then they forget to start the next shot with their hand moving away. I use it a lot in my Insta stories when I'm doing makeup, where I'll do this thing of beating my face. So I slap, 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 face. Then I cover, then when I open, I have makeup on. It's just a fun little trick. 
but it's a cool transition so those are interesting ways which you can do in your camera which so that you don't have to do the transition in edit for instance getting an actual transition that does that then we come to editing there's some really cool apps for editing on your phone now i use a laptop to edit but for things like insta stories and my instagram videos i use my phone to edit i also know yummy mommy uses her phone to edit her youtube videos which is now proper commitment the apps that i used to to edit video on my phone are video leap quick in shot and visco cam for filters like to give your videos a different kind of feel so video leap is good you can use that to for instance so i don't know if you remember the video that i shot of my slow motion hair nini nini wow and then it was changing colors and it was you know playing to the beat i shot that entirely on my phone and i edited it entirely on my phone using the app video leap it's so cool it has so many um, controls that you can use to create really really good videos and you can use that to edit even videos for your youtube channel if you want to start a youtube channel the video that i shot where i did the free fall and i posted on my instagram i also edited that on video leap so it's a really powerful tool quick is amazing quick is when you you don't have time when you just want to create something really cool in like 10 minutes so it's actually so simple to use you can really honestly take like three second clips yeah like three to five second clips on your phone and then you upload them onto quick you can choose the highlight um option where quick will now you select music quick will edit that that video to you to the beat of the music and just select the shots for you then you can choose graphics there's so many to choose from and it'll create the video for you so literally you can have a really cool interesting instagram video instagram stories video in like 10 minutes i swear it's the best thing and it's free inshot is one of the most amazing apps i have ever found inshot if you use it it's going to have the watermark but you can pay to remove the watermark and to have more access to features inshot is really cool for me especially for your insta stories it's the kind of thing that it's the one that does the effects for like the video is kind of shaky it'll add a filter you can add music people ask how i do my stories where like i can play an entire song and the song is continuous even though the footage is different that's in short i love it i'll do another video where i get more in depth into how to use the apps uh, because if i start going into a tutorial of how to do this and that and that in this video we'll be here talking for another hour and i'm so tired of doing these long videos guys i talk too much visco cam is really cool for giving your videos like the same visco cam you know it for photos so you can also use it for video you just put the, the visco cam videos uh, filters on your videos and if you want to use a particular filter to give your videos a particular look visco cam is really cool to use i did ask guys today if they have any questions to ask me when it comes to editing on my phone i had lab coat tails asking me about sound so sound is really important when you're shooting video um and if you have bad sound it kind of just makes your video not as good like it'll there's a video i did early in the year and i vlogged using a camera i'd never used before to vlog and the sound was so bad and i felt so horrible so sound one of the things i would say is to record with your phone as close to you as possible most phones have really good sound so if you put it close enough you know like if you have it on your tripod or whatever and you put it close then the sound will be good also make sure the mic whatever the mic make sure you know where the mic is is located and then have it face you when you're recording also another thing people because they don't know where the mic is they're holding the phone and they've covered the microphone so the the sound becomes really muffled just make sure you know where the mic is hold the phone close and record and say hi speak clearly speak loudly um one of the things i've done and i can show you here when it comes to sound a lot of people complain about echo make sure to record in a room that has carpeting has curtains fabric i have duvet duvets lined up on the floor here and cushions because they absorb the echo sometimes when i want to record a voice over i'll make sure to just go under the covers of my bed under the duvet record because there's no echo and any other sound harms whatever they're absorbed so just make sure you're in a well padded room 
with cushions i've put cushions i brought the cushions from the living room here i closed all the windows i closed the doors so that also noises from other rooms that don't permeate into this side you can put on your earphones and plug in to your phone so that the microphone for your earphones is closer to your mouth so that your sound is clearer and louder that's another way to make sure the sound is better you can buy um, a mic there's some small mics i have them i just can't find them they're somewhere in the house but they're mics which you can plug into your phone and then you put them here they're like lapel mics i don't use mine i i got them but i realized i don't really need them because the phone's usually have a good microphone and also if you're close enough the sound will be okay when you're outside just be wary about things like wind if you're in a windy place either make sure to cover your your mic so that the wind doesn't get to affect it or have somebody stand between you and the wind so that it doesn't affect it or just shoot content i know you've noticed in some videos i use i just have music playing that's because the sound is is bad so i just shoot the content and then i add music on top so i think that's it i hope that was helpful i hope you've gotten a couple of pointers the phone is retailing for 24,990 shillings that's 25g so guys you don't have to buy your phone and a camera you can start with this i usually say start with the bare minimum and get so good at that so that by the time you're getting even better equipment or better gear you're so good because you know there are people who will buy the most amazing equipment but because they don't have the skill their content still doesn't look that great so i'm also learning i'm constantly learning i'm that chick who at three in the morning i'm watching a youtube tutorial on how to edit how to learn this new thing i'm always trying to learn new things i have pinterest boards for this stuff um i'm always looking for new fonts to use i'm looking for new transitions to use for new titles how to customize things how to I'm, I'm learning how to use motion start from where you are and then improve once you get into the groove of editing you'll enjoy it if this is something you really want to do just do it guys i think i'm done talking because kama kawaida i just did the most with the talking please subscribe turn on the notification bell I hope you like this video and I'll see you in the next video hopefully in a few days and not a few weeks like we are here guys we are here at KTN news this is like Super a surprise cool. I wasn't really expecting this I'm vlogging on the Huawei Y9 which is also available on masoko.com guys so you can go buy it how much does it cost it's 24,990 oh convert yes. that to dollars excuse me my name is Amandi oh my gosh it's 249 dollars oh name KTN news uh -huh. and we're here with the masoko <laughs> guys, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.